Hey everyone, my name is Wyatt. I'm a partner engineer here at LinkedIn, and I'm going to be talking about Google Tag Manager and LinkedIn Conversions API. Um, so thanks for tuning in to this quick demonstration video of our new API, uh, Conversions API tag template for Google Tag Manager. In this video, we're going to show you how to get set up and running with GTM and LinkedIn's Conversions API. To get started in this process, we're going to assume that you have the following items as a uh, completed. One, you have a Google Tag Manager account. Two, you have a Google Tag Manager web container. Three, you have a server container. Four, a LinkedIn access token, API access token. And five, a conversion rule set up within your LinkedIn ad account. All right, once you have those handy, you are ready to move forward and we are ready to get started. All right, so let's hop on over to Google Tag Manager. Here, we're gonna do the GTM web container setup. So in my account, this is web container. Here we are, let's open that one up. And in this section, we're going to configure the web container to send website data to the GTM tagging server container. We'll do this through first setting up a Google tag. So navigate to the tag sections, click new, and then tag configuration. Let's see, new, yeah, this little edit icon under tag configuration here. And we're going to add a Google tag. So select Google tag, name it something like Google tag configuration. There we go. And then we're going to paste in here. You've got to drop in the ID uh, that is incorporated on your website. So this will need to be your Google tag ID. Tag ID. Yep. We'll click save here. Do, 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 do. Um, and we just save tag. Next, we need to grab the server URL from the tagging server container. So to do this, we're going to navigate to the server container. We're going to go to admin, account settings, container settings, server container URLs. So these are the server container URLs. Go ahead and copy that. Navigate back to the web container. Go to workspace. Awesome. Go to tags. We're going to find that Google tag, Google tag configuration. Open that up. Scroll down to configuration settings. And we're going to add a parameter here. So the parameter name is going to be server underscore container underscore URL. And the value is going to be the URL that you just copied from the other settings page. Go ahead and click save on that. And we are making progress. So you've now saved your Google tag on your web container. If you already have a GA4 uh, events tag set up and configured, the new Google configure the new Google configuration tag will ensure that these events are sent to the server container. If you do not have any events tag set up, you'll need to do that now. All right, next step two is going to be configuring the GTM server container. So right now we're in the web container. Let's navigate over to the server container. Here we're going to set up a new client, GA4 client to be precise. All right, so we're going to go click new here. Under the edit icon, we're going to do GA4. We're going to name it GA4 client. This client, the settings here, will listen to all calls to the server URL from the uh, web containers GA4 uh, events tracking. So we have this set up. We click save. Next, we're going to create a trigger within the server container. So we're going to navigate to the trigger section. We're going to click new. We're going to title this the GA4, all GA4 events. Select the uh, configuration button over here. We're going to say fire this custom event. And then we're going to say event name, type in GA4, GA4, and click Save. Awesome. So this section, uh, step three, we're going to create a LinkedIn Cappy tag within your GTM server container. So the first step is we're going to add a LinkedIn Cappy tag template to your templates section. Uh, so navigate to the template section right here. Uh, we're going to, under tag templates, we're going to search gallery, uh, go up here, type in LinkedIn. Click that, 
add to workspace and you got some code I wrote on your computer or on your GTM account. Okay, click add. There you go. Um, now you have the tag template. Next, we're going to use this to create a tag. So go to tags. We're going to do new tag configuration and we're going to use LinkedIn. There we go. There's a template. So we're going to title this as LinkedIn Kathy Tag. Here, the configuration, we need our access token. So copy that access token, drop it in there. We need our conversion rule ID, copy that, drop it in there, and go ahead and click save. Save tag. OK. Next, we're going to add the GA4 event trigger to this tag. So open that guy back up. Go down here to the triggers, and we're going to select all GA4 events. The event trigger we set up earlier, click Add. And we are good to go. Click Save. We've now completed the setup. Um, Google Analytics events are triggered that are triggered on your website will now be sent to your GTM web container, where the Google configuration tag handles sending the event data to your server container. On your server container, we've set up the LinkedIn Cappy tag based on our template that will be triggered and send the event data onto the LinkedIn Conversions API. Please reach out to your accounts team or our amazing developer support team should you have any questions. If you have any need any assistance getting your Google Tag Manager environment set up, please make sure to reach out to your Google representative.